Hello, I'm Yasmin, and welcome to Mental Health Combos, where we educate, empower, elevate, and embrace. Today's video is going to be over 10 signs that you might be stressed. Let's get into the video. If you are new here, we talk about all things mental health. We talk about making you a better you, personal development, social work, human services. We talk about some of everything here, okay? And I'm a millennial, so I like to connect with the culture. So, yeah, that's what it's about here. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, please make sure you subscribe. All right, y'all. So, this video is about stress, 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 stress. I don't need any more stress, right? <laughs> because I know I don't. So, stress is just something that we all at some point deal with. But sometimes we don't know that we're under stress. And this video is going to give you these signs to let you know that, hey, you may be under stress. And guess what, babes? You need to do something about that, okay? All right, so number one, the first sign that you may be under stress is headaches. Oh, my goodness. That is one of the things that lets me know that I am under stress. I just start to get headaches. Okay, so if you've been having headaches randomly, that's something you may need to think about. So, you know, have I been stressed about anything? Has anything been worrying me? And in this climate right now, we're dealing with the whole pandemic and a lot of people are just having a rough time overall. Not only do we have the pandemic, which has, you know, people dealing with sicknesses, people dealing with illnesses, their families um, can't be around their families. People are in, being in quarantine, uh, people losing their jobs, people facing unemployment, people losing their homes, can't pay their rent, can't pay their car notes, can't pay their bills, don't know how they're going to put food on the table. So a lot of people right now are stressed, okay? And then, just one major sign that I wanted to point out is that headaches, okay? Headaches are one of the signs that, hey, you may be stressed. Number two, you may have a hard time sleeping, okay? Tossing and turning all night. Just can't get that that sleep, you know, regimen that you've had. So, a hard time sleeping is another one. Number three, Sometimes when we're stressed, we may tend to sleep too much. Now, sometimes stress can lead to depression and sleeping too much and or sleeping, you know, too less can both be signs of depression. So we want to be mindful of that. You know, if, our, if we, you know, usually been sleeping normally was it six to eight hours that we're supposed to get sleep. But when you're, you know, dragging along in a day, you know, you're usually up and on your way by nine and it's one and two o'clock and you're in the bed like... Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing today. Yeah, that, that may be something that we need to check into. We may need to look into that, okay? Um, Number four is weight gain. Sometimes when we're stressed, we tend to eat, right? Um, Some of us are stress eaters. Um, I know I've seen some um, episodes of different shows, and when women break up, you see them with a tub of ice cream. Um, I would living single or something but yeah so sometimes when we're under stress we start to eat more and then you know we may not see it but other people may say hey you're you're picking up some weight there number five weight loss okay so sometimes when we become stressed um we don't pay attention to what we're eating so some people may stop eating they may eat less they may not be in the mood for food. They're stressed out. They're like, I'm not hungry. Have Have you ever been in a situation where, um, something just said, you know what? I'm I'm not hungry. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. So that can contribute to us losing weight. Number six, physical pain and changes, sweating, heart rate increases, nervousness, low energy, chest pain, rashes, and etc. So, um, when it comes to physical pain, like some of us. We may start to feel like stomach aches when we're stressed out. I know that was big for me back when I was in high school. I had this math class and I was so scared. You know, not necessarily scared, but I hated math. And every time I got ready to go to that class, like my stomach would hurt really bad so yeah sometimes stress may manifest with in physical ailments you know sometimes with your foot you just keep getting this random pain in your foot you keep getting this random stomach and you get this random pain in your body that could be stress okay and of course you know sometimes we get nervous we start sweating 
Um, when we get stressed out, sometimes our heart rate increases. We get a little nervous. Sometimes we may get a little shaky, a little jittery. Sometimes our energy is low. You know, we don't want to do anything. We don't want to be bothered. Okay? And sometimes there's that chest pain. So, you know, be mindful of that because sometimes, hey, you could be at risk for heart attack or stroke. Um, also, rashes. Um, That's something that I've seen um, with one of my family members. When they get stressed out, they just break out in rashes. And at first, I was like, okay, what is going on? But I started reading and researching, and I was like, wow, stress can cause you to have rashes, physical pain, and so much more. It's very and number interesting. Number seven, sometimes when we're stressed out, we have a hard time concentrating, okay? So our minds, we, our minds may be clouded. Our judgment may be clouded. It may be hard to concentrate on whatever it is that we're doing because we're stressed. Number eight, changes in sex drive. Um, sometimes when we're under stress, we don't want to have sex. We're not in the mood. Okay? Um, sometimes people, they have, you know, sexual dysfunction. They're, they're not in the mood. Their they're, um, sexual organs aren't performing the way that they should be because of stress. Number nine, digestive issues. Some people may start to have diarrhea and constipation. Who would have thought, like, stress could contribute to you having diarrhea or constipation? Yes, digestive issues can be a sign of stress. Number 10, sometimes our eating habits change. Um, This, to me, goes along with the weight gain and weight loss. But, again, we may start picking up food, you know, start eating more. Start packing down the junk food. Some of us don't want to eat. You know what? I'm not hungry. You know, this this uh job is getting on my nerves. School is, is getting on my nerves. You know, I don't have an appetite. Our eating habits change. And then I wanted to give a bonus. Also, with stress, your blood pressure may shoot through the roof. Your blood pressure may increase. Uh, you may become depressed. Maybe become moody. Some of us even lose our hair. Yes. So if you've been going through some stress and, and you notice that, hey, when you brush your hair a little bit more than um, hair, you know, what's, what's usually coming out when you brush it, you got some hair loss going on. Yeah, you may be under stress. Stroke, acne, and the list just goes on. So if you've been, you know, under some stress lately and you've, you've um had any of these signs right here, yes. All of these things could be uh, symptoms of your stress. So what I like to do is I like to give you all some information about what can help with that stress. Now, me, I love meditating. Um, I'm a journal type of person. That's why I created journals, and you can find some of them down below. Um, but we all may manage our stress differently. I know me, I'm big on many getaways and many vacations. So if I'm stressed out about something, when the weekend comes and I don't have to work, baby, I'm gone. Okay, I'm, I'm taking uh, a view of the mountains. I'm going to dip my feet in some sand. I'm going to be swimming in somebody's beach. Okay, so yeah, you just have to figure out what it is that helps you manage your stress better. Now, also, there are some herbal supplements that you can take, ashwagandha. That has been known to be a stress reliever. So I have photos here in the back, and I have the links down below if you want to check that out, okay? So thank you all so much for watching. I tried to make this a really short video. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe. If you've ever been stressed out before, if you want to give some details on how you manage your stress, you can comment down below. Peace, abundance, and blessings to you all. Thank you. Bye.